Some rivalries have more juice, and there's never been one that had more juice than Dale Earnhardt, Jeff Gordon. Those were the most frustrating times that I had with Dale. Moments like that at the track were ones that just pissed me off. Hey there, racing fans. Today we're diving into the world of NASCAR legends as Jeff Gordon opens up about his intense rivalry with the late Dale Earnhardt Sr. But before we get started, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell to stay updated on all things NASCAR. When it comes to Jeff Gordon and Dale Earnhardt's rivalry, it's not what many might expect. Although the two stars were fierce competitors behind the wheel, the two had a lot common outside the race car. It was neat for me to be parked next to him. I mean, I know that he's one of the best drivers out there. From their family backgrounds to their driving styles, paint schemes, and fashion sense, Gordon and Earnhardt could not have been more polar opposites. The boys here. I, I hear him talking about me. You talk like a little girl. What? I'm sorry, man. I'm just not as big as you. <laughs> not as big a man as you. He Wonder Boy is here. Jeff Gordon, one of NASCAR's greatest drivers, revealed his true feelings about his bitter rival, Dale Earnhardt Sr., in the Fox Sports documentary, Unrivaled. No problem. Dale goes by, I let him get out there good ways and I take off and I don't know if he was slowing down for me or what, but I was running some really good laps and I started catching him. And I'm like, I'm catching him so fast that I'm not going to have any problem passing him. I'm just going to blow right by him. So I get underneath him, going down the back straight away. Now he's drag racing me. I'm like, great. No problem. My car is so good. I'm just going to dive into this corner and I'll clear him. I drove down in there, so did he. He drove in there as hard as he possibly could on my door and boom, sucked me around, boom, my back in the wall. Hard hit too, it was a really hard hit because we were hauling ass. Those were the most frustrating times that I had with Dale. Moments like that at the track were ones that just pissed me off and Dale was probably grinning ear to ear. Jeff Gordon's career boasts four Winston Cup series and three Daytona 500 victories, making his words carry significant weight in the racing world. But it was his rivalry with the legendary Dale Earnhardt Sr. that became the highlight of his initial days in NASCAR. For Gordon, it wasn't just about the trophies. It was the rivalries that fueled his success. He reminisced about his experiences racing against legends like Dale Earnhardt Sr., even visiting a statue of the late racing icon in North Carolina. You wouldn't think, you know, Dale Earnhardt, the intimidator, would take a young guy under his wing and sort of help guide him and, and teach him things. But off the racetrack, it came through conversations, you know, me asking him a lot of questions or him saying, hey, uh, give you a heads up, this is happening, this is happening. Nowadays, Jeff Gordon is not just a retired racing legend. He's also playing a crucial role as the vice chairman of Hendrick Motorsports. He's involved in scouting and nurturing new talents that could follow in his footsteps and make it big in NASCAR. But where did it all start? Gordon won his first Cup Series title in 1995, winning seven races and denying the great Dale Earnhardt his eighth title. Always been there. I always wanted to win. I always wanted to race. Uh, first, I just wanted to get in a race car. Got in a race car, and then I got a taste of racing. and then I wanted to, no wanted to win. One, now I want to win all the time. You won a championship, got to have another one. This kick started perhaps one of the greatest rivalries in NASCAR history. To many, it seemed that Earnhardt disapproved of Gordon's rapid success. And the 1995 Brickyard 400 incident is a prime example of this. Being Dale Earnhardt, and Dale, this is the same car you all won the Brickyard with, isn't it? Well, it is. Uh, hope it runs as good here during the race. It's starting to rain down turn one, though. We'll see what happens here. Going out and te Gordon's going out and test the rain. Uh, what kind of advice would you give him if uh, if you could right now with that rain maybe coming down? Stay on pit road. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Dale. Well, how you guys running? I think you won 11 fastest in practice. Yeah, but see the raindrops hitting on the top here? That shows that track's going to be a little bit loose. How loose is it? Uh, I think it's real loose over there in turn two now. That's where the rain's coming from. You see it real rain over there? So uh, it's not a good time to qualify. I bet he comes on pit road, matter of fact. Yeah, I, I would guess so. You know, for me doing the weather, though, I got to have the radar. If he was smart, he would come on. Yep, he ain't too smart. <laughs> <laughs> but it's important to note the rivalry's role in NASCAR's surge in popularity. I didn't realize how important rivals were 
I wish I had the confidence that he had to play into it, to uh, build it up even more. I mean, you could, you could easily say that that's what launched my career. This is the Dale a lot of us knew, you know, cowboy boots, Wranglers. This is the size he was when he was in the race car. <laughs> as much as he messed with me, somehow on the inside, I always thought that it was a sign of respect. He would have not said anything at all if he didn't care. I respected the heck out of this guy. Loved racing with him. Hated it at times, but no, overall, my experience with Dale was, was incredible. I miss him. And it also became an important part of the sport's history when the duo carried their rivalries to the stage. Before I go any further, um, I'd like to recognize the man who never, never let up on his efforts to win his eighth championship. Dale Earnhardt is a true competitor and a great champion. And at this time, I would like to offer a toast to the man, Dale. Great effort, man. There's some milk. Thank you. However, the NASCAR world lost Dale Earnhardt in a tragic 2001 crash at Daytona. But continuing the legacy, Earnhardt's son, Dale Earnhardt Jr. challenged Gordon on the NASCAR tracks. I, I don't remember what led to, you know, that, that shift. I mean, we're side by side and, you know, you're shifting here and I'm shifting here. And obviously you were passing me or going to at least get your nose ahead of me when that caution came out on the last lap. And uh, I was sitting there going, I think I was ahead. I think I was ahead. And when they told me I was, I was like... Yes, and then all of a sudden I realized, uh oh, there's going to be a lot of pissed off people in the grandstands. Because I mean, listen, you always had an incredible following, but I don't know. I look back at those days and where the sport was, and the the enthusiasm, and the the, the trendiness of NASCAR, and how it was just blowing up. And you were such a huge part of that. And I mean, I had you know, I played my role in it uh, as well. But to have me and you kind of going head to head like yeah. that. And, and for it to come down to a controversial finish, it was one of those times where I was like, I don't know if I want to win this race or not. As we wrap up this trip down memory lane, it's clear that the Jeff Gordon versus Dale Earnhardt rivalry was one for the books. These two legends combined to win seven titles in the 90s, leaving an indelible mark on NASCAR history. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments below. Who's your favorite NASCAR legend, Jeff Gordon or Dale Earnhardt Sr.? Until next time, this is NASCAR In and Out on Essentially Sports. Keep the pedal to the metal.